Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today, tonight, rather, I forgot what time of day it was. Tonight, we are doing by Brad. An hour after we normally record it. Yeah, it usually All right. Fine, and usually the curtains are closed. I was confused. At anyway, that's true. A M. Anyway, today I'm joined by Brag. Hello. And Ben. Hello. How is our week? Uh, let's start with you, Brag. Yeah. You made it into locals. That's yeah. Oh my god. Um, actually, I had a couple good matches. My team match with Kurt was pretty good. Nice back and forth. And yeah, just my god. When it goes off, it goes off. He got King of the Swamp off Cash Tira. That's like. I do it. Yep, that's two cards in the deck, and then you're you're there. Okay. Off you go. And then he was the first one. I like using the Guardian Chimera in there. It just feels like a good card. Like, it kind of disappeared during Tour Element format. Mm -hmm. It could have been there, right? It's a good card. It could have been there, but of course. Yeah. Maybe I should try it on our Master Jewel. I've seen a fields. few people doing it. Like, if going second, you happen to open the poly or you get the King of the Swamp to search it. Yeah. It's like a nice little bait to get rid of the nonsense on the board and it can't be targeted. Your opponent's yeah. recalls. The nonsense on the board. Your opponent's Rukalos. <laughs> yeah, but most of the time if people see a poly coming down and they have a Rukalos, they get negated. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then you've used the negate. Yeah, but then you don't get the Chimera, which is what we want. Yeah, and then... Yeah, I guess that's why it disappeared, right? But at the same time, it's here now-ish, and okay. I mean, there was no cash tier in the room, I don't believe, so that kind of mixed things up a bit. Yeah, I don't think Jordan was in on Tuesday, was he? Oh, he was, but he was playing something different, yeah? No, <laughs> he doesn't have anything else. Ah, well, maybe he was, and he just I just missed him in the room. We're also kind of under the pump, because we yeah. had a power outage coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was a planned <laughs> power outage. happen? Uh, everything was set up and ready for it to happen. I think we got out of there, like, either just before or just after 9, so yeah. I yeah. imagine it was due to happen. Yeah, like, sure. the last pack was handed, like, one minute after the power outage was expected, so... Sure. The power out would have going out. Like, yeah. This shit happens. Yeah. Whatever. So I'm like, oh, of course, the first time I show up in like three months. There's a rush, get this through. Yeah. But, um, and my god, my game's with you. Ugh. Yeah, you didn't open all that well. Yeah. I hope that. Do you up. Do you. I still haven't edited that footage at all. I actually. Is the phone the thing? Is the recorder? Yes. Okay, cool. Damn it. I could have intercepted. <laughs> I was it's still like, time, Brag. It's still time. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And that's the thing with, with bricking. Yeah. And that's what it drives me away from card games a little bit, but that's just the nature of the beast. Meh. We all play RNG. Yeah. We're mulligan rules in Yu Gi Oh! Yeah. You can't do it. Like, combo decks would just go off. But anyway. Um,. I suppose we can get to our week now. Yeah, I didn't go to locals on Tuesday because I was didn't. sick. I didn't go last weekend, I think. Did I go last weekend? I did go last weekend. I lost the final. To six samurai. Super heavy samurai. <laughs> You've done that a couple of times now. I do that all the time. Know, do you know what decks are called in this format? No. <laughs> They're all just retrains. <laughs> okay? And you are playing cash that week, weren't you? Yeah. I've been playing cash for the last couple months. Oh, so you took cash here. Not yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like For a second, I'm like, I wonder if you'll same FTK. But then, nah. I'm like, oh wait, I thought I saw your cash deck out, so. That's my cash. Yeah. It's, it's there. It's what I've been playing. It's what I'm going to continue to play. It's going fine. Today is also fine, but today I also just didn't really care. Yeah. So, how did your week outside of what we did today go? Um, last Sunday. Oh, well, last Sunday we spoke about it on the podcast anyway. Tuesday, um, Tuesday went okay. Um, I was still working out the ratios and things for the deck, and the deck changed wildly after that anyway. I was trying to get away with playing two of the Quem and one Cartesia, just so I didn't have, like, mix-matched rarities. Uh, but that doesn't work. Um, <laughs> so I ended up going with two Cartesia and one Quem for today. Yep. Uh, which I suppose we'll get into now. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Ben and I and a bunch of others went to the Alliance 
games store in Redfern today to Kingsford, do. I think no, it's not Kingsford. I don't know Kingsford. Kingsford. Yeah, close enough to Redfern. It's like next summer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we went there for a regional today. There was fifty nine competitors, six rounds, no top cart. It was a sixty player cap, so the room could only hold sixty people. Yeah. So. Um. So yeah, six rounds. Uh, I did fairly awful. Um, like. I've not done a lot of practice with this new build, so I'm still working out bits and pieces. Like, there was a couple of interactions where I could have definitely done a little bit better. And there's also decks in the room that I haven't versed before, so I wasn't exactly sure what they did and where to sort of stop them if I could. Um, so, yeah, there's definitely a couple of things I could have done better. Um, so hopefully I can bring that into States next week. Um, I've had, I had some fucking horrible hands today too. Like, just absolutely dreadful which is just the same old story with branded i just brick all the time a point to raise either now or later of just waiting for the ban list has kind of put us off testing and getting used to this form getting used to this format yeah. and now it's starting to cost us premier events uh, it's like it's okay we all have our invites yeah except me it's okay you weren't at the regional anyway i wasn't and you're not going to states anyway no it's okay it's okay. It's okay. I also did pretty shit. I think... Like, every time I had a decent enough hand, I think I won. Apart from, like, one game where I awkwardly opened, like, three hand traps. And then didn't know when to use them. Because I was like, I could use the droll and shut off the turn. Or I can use the other two hand traps and shut off the turn and then have the droll for turn three. And then I was like, which way am I going with this? And at the same time, anyway, I was like... I don't really care, so <laughs> I'm just gonna play this and see how it goes. I think my biggest issue today was like, I need to A, pick up a second Zeus, I need to find where my other Zeus is. Um, hmm? Yeah, I haven't seen it around. Yeah, I need to cause... figure out where it is. Because uh, Zeus seems good. Zeus is bonkers. Yeah. Pearly needs two Zeus as well, and I've only got the one. So yeah. I'm like, oh, God. The main reason for double Zeus is purely because Cash Tira is like, once you get into the mirror, it starts banishing your like powerful one ofs. So by having your best cards as two ofs, you get around that problem. My opponents tried to zone lock me at every chance they got. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've I was that. really surprised. Yeah. I so was expecting that. I only had one Cash mir- mir- matchup today. Yep. And in game three, he was about to go for the zone lock because he yeah. like grabbed his two monsters and went to overlay them. Yeah. And then he's like, oh no. And then put all three of them into a right heart. Yeah. So I was like, he was going for zone lock and it was completely unnecessary. <laughs> Every opportunity my opponent could try to zone lock me, they tried to zone lock me. I think my round four, I had opened utter dog shit. And I was like, if he just goes a rise heart and a couple interactions, I'm fucked. And then he went ham on the zone lock, and I was like, okay. And then he like looked at my trick. He's like, oh, it's a mirror. Oh, well, may as well keep going. And he like zone locked all my monster zones, and I was like, top deck book of moon, <laughs> flip the one that's locked three zones. <laughs> um, my hand of double. It was like double unicorn, double theosis terraforming, and I he'd like. Done full zone lock and prost into a droll. And I was like, I can break this, but I'm going to eat that droll. Feels bad. The, yeah, like every chance my opponents got, I got zone locked. Oh. I should have gone for Zeus a lot more than I did. Yeah. Um, yeah, I kept like trying to like individually pop back rows and be fancy when I should have just fucking Zeus. Every time I should have just I did sushed. notice that in the one matchup that I actually got to watch you play, you went into the um, Dad Xyz. And I was yeah. like, surely that just becomes a Zeus now. Yeah, I, I kept doing that. I just, I don't know. Next weekend, if I play cash, I will Zeus more. But it, like, cause it's at locals, I'm not playing a lot of cash mirrors. Mm-hmm. And the only cash mirrors I'm playing against Jordan where he's just playing a deck full of board breakers. And I'm just like, Okay, there's yeah. no point of me doing that Zeus interaction. It's just a case of me just making sure I can control the game state. Mm. And yeah, um, 
yeah, so my matchup against Cash today was fairly piss poor. My hand was atrocious. Um, it was like double double Albaz, Cartesia, Droll, Fusion Sub, and uh, I can't remember what the card I top decked was, but it wasn't useful. Um, and then um, in his turn, he used the Arise Heart to banish the top three. My draw would have been uh, Santa Claus. Yeah. And also, the droll in my hand was completely dead because he activated Prosp, and I was like, yes, yes, so, play into it. And then he dropped Shifter, and I was like, no, no. no. <laughs> so you're running into the issue of never look at your top deck. You're only going to feel why would I not the look, cards why, why would I not look at the cards that are left in my deck when my deck is all one-offs, Ben? So here's the thing. You draw for turn, you look at your six cards, you think of your line, then you check what's banished. Don't banish the three and instantly check and feel bad. It okay. wasn't going to matter anyway. My hand was dog shit. It'll make you feel better about the game if you just go to the next turn, you draw. And then you scoop think, immediately you anyway. You think your plays. No, have you're to, right. I should, definitely, I should definitely just scoop. Be positive. Um, okay. Positively scoop. A highlight of today um, was uh, when I was first seeing... Oh, what deck was it? Was it Cash as well? <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember what it was. But anyway, I actually had full combo for once. Yep. Um, like, the hand was great. Um, he impermed the Lebellion, so I couldn't do the Lebellion. I was like, yes. oh, okay, that's fine. I've got most of the pieces that I need to do the thing anyway. Um, I set a couple, I go to move to the end phase, and he Nibiru's me. And I was like, oh, this hasn't happened before. Mm. And then Brain Spark, I was like, oh, okay, you've activated an effect that summons a monster. I'll banish my Gwignol to summon Kyotis from my action deck. Um, and then in draw phase, I tribute the Kyotis with the Expulsion, give him a gimmick puppet, give me Albaz, <laughs> Albaz effect, use his Nibiru, make Albion, Albion, make Mirror Jade. Yeah. So, something that I realised, again, from playing... There's a huge fucking difference between playing at our locals and playing at regional. Yes. Because we have to, like, fucking hyper-fixate certain cards, certain matchups, just don't apply to a regional. Like, I'm playing fucking Nibiru... For Josh. But, like, I ain't gonna see Mathmech or Salamangrate at a fucking regional. I might see Mathmech, but at which point there's other things that I can probably try and figure out, like fucking the shifter is a bell. Yes. Um, yeah, so I need to cut Nib. I put it in once today, and, like, every, I've noticed this when it happened today. Every time I put Nib in, I also open birth. <laughs> which you have to do to be able to use the Nib. Yeah, they conflict with each other in that regard. Like, yes. if you open Nib, you have to have birth, or yep. you don't get to play. And I realised that when it happened, I was like, I'm just lucky to always be opening birth with the Nib. There's got to be a time where I put that Nib in the deck, I don't have the birth, and I lose. Because that Nib token was giant today. Yep. It was big. And I was like, okay, sure. Hmm. It's a problem. Um, but yeah, um, other than that, like the event was fine. It was really smoothly run. Didn't really, uh, really um, have any issues. The store was nice place. a little small, but nicely presented. Like everything was clean, tidy. Um, yeah. Location's pretty good. Location's like, good. It's not difficult to get to at all. Mm. Like you pretty much get right up to where if you kept going north, you'd be in shithole Sydney. Yeah. And then you just do a U-turn and you come back out. <laughs> it's fine. So yeah, if you don't have a GPS going, just wait until you see shithole, then turn around and come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's fine. <laughs> You're like, go, 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 and I take a right, and then I take a right, and I go back. It's great. Um, also, yeah, it's like on the tram line. Oh. So, like, the new tram oh, line, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you go out past Redfern and stuff, yeah, it's at the end of that tram line. It's like, this is actually a really good place to put this. Like... Yeah, I was driving along there the other day, and I was like, looked over. There's a tram. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, they're out here now. <laughs> I knew they go. I knew they went to the into the stadium, but yeah, coming they down keep the going. Van. I ran into so issues with City Rail or whatever the fuck they call it nowadays. Yep. I didn't know that they moved the road. Mm. So when I the other day when I was driving back through where that tram line is now. I just missed my turn because I just didn't realise they had moved the road over. Yeah, yeah. Now it goes and like I was that. like, yeah. oh, I was supposed to like go to a weird crossing section to cross the tram line to go onto the part of the road that lets you turn out. Instead, I just went and followed this new road. I was like, oh, that's inconvenient. 
Oh and well, Sydney. Yeah, but Sydney. I yeah, ended Sydney's up just dog shit. We need more regionals elsewhere. This is good though. Like I like be like six like six. There's a room. There is room for tournaments at sixty players. So you could run a sixty man, maybe more at Wollongong. Yeah. 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 But, um, I would say Wollongong's comparatively bigger than that store. Yeah. But I hope in the next cycle, when it's just the one year worth of qualifying, we get regionals at bigger venues. Something else, in supplement. Something else that I really appreciate about Alliance, they have a variety of product. They did have a the lot of product stuff. variety was really good. Hmm. Like, very much a store that I would recommend going to if you just want to get something and you don't quite know what you want to get. It's a good store to go to and just be like, that's cool. I'm going to buy this. Like, they... I don't know how they procured them the way they did. I imagine they just cracked a bunch of the legendary collection, but they had heaps of the old-school packs, like Magic Rulers, oh, Pharaohs, yeah. and all that nonsense yeah. sitting there for individual purchase. Prices on them weren't too and bad I'll, either. I'm, now that I've said that, I'm not sure if they're allowed to do that. But anyway, um, <laughs> they also had a bunch of okay. old sets as well, like Blazing Vortex um, and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, uh, heaps of stuff that, like, you cannot find anymore. Yeah, they also had, like... Well, you know those like uh, Japanese gachapon raffles? Yeah. They also had those. Yeah. It was really good. Like it was like 22 bucks a ticket and you could like go in and like... Did you pay 22 for everyone you entered? Yeah. He said they were going to charge him 20, 20, charge 20 and you could charge 22. Yeah. Well, he charged you 22. Didn't charge me 22. I bet he I saved two dollars. <laughs> he told me he was going to charge me 20. He charged me 22 and I was like, I don't care. It's okay. So we bought raffle tickets. So we each bought raffle tickets. You got... Uh, so, a weird poster thing it was garbage I also got a weird poster thing and oh. then I had the realisation oh, yeah. that there was only like six raffle tickets left and like you can see the prizes that were left so I bought all the raffle tickets so I ended up with two three more of these I ended up with the uh, the you say and whatever the fuck this guy's name was Yuma the, I don't know the guy from yeah. Sevens. You yeah. yeah, the guy from Sevens. I still don't know. But... We've been watching um, Vrains. I still don't know his name. What, which guy? I don't know Playmaker's name. No, this guy's not Playmaker. This is. Oh no, he's no, from no, Sevens. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I can't um, remember what Playmaker's actual Yusaka? name is. Yeah, it yeah, that be. sounds about right. They always yeah. seem to be you. Yeah. Yeah. I got the Pendulum Dragon and then Neos, and... and then we kept going. So then we got some cups that we don't actually know what cups are in here. There's six different cup designs. Um, Bragg, there's one for you to open. Right. And then me and Jake also have more to open. So uh, let's let's crack these. Bandai Spirit. I'm hoping for the uh, Millennium Items one. That nice. will be a good one. There's uh, Yugi, Kaiba, Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, three gold Millennium Items. What was that? No. No, no gods. I got Dark Magician. Uh, Dark Magician Cup. Oh, it's the Millennium, Millennium items. items! Oh yeah, look at it. Look Do, you at look at hmm? Do you want trade, Bragg? Do you want trade? Bragg's and I'm an iron like they aren't all my cups. <laughs> <laughs> what are we reckon? You're ruining the illusion! <laughs> what are we reckon? No. Oh, you bitch. What'd you get? I also got that condition. Ah, oh, I got two of the same? Damn. What is um, this? Well, yeah, what are you going to do with that? No, man. Are we out of them? <laughs> I don't know. Mismatched cups. Mismatched then, cups. Uh, part of the main reason why I bought all the remaining tickets. I didn't know it was possible to get... Unless if, unless if he's had multiple... Blue, um... No, there was like... I think it was 12 cups total. So it must have been like two of each. So someone else has got two of the. I other hope some oh poor sucker was tracing the GM, DM one specifically and he didn't get them. Yep. Anyone uh, regionals up for trade? Well, I'm actually no. Are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> trading cup, trading yeah. cup, cup. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you think of one, you want. If you want DM. And I also got this DM figure. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, should I open this? Oh, actually, that's the. I, I like it when they color the coat I like that. The blue. Yeah, it's blue man. DM. Not the purple one. Not the. Not yeah no. Um, yeah, should I open this? Yeah, yeah maybe. Surely. Well, let's open it. Let's ruin the value of the Yeah, thing. it is, isn't it? It is green face dark condition. Sick. It does say last one on the box. I don't know if that's relevant. Uh, because it's, it, they only get this if you buy the last ticket. 
Oh, okay. The so they ticket. get these in like a pre-packaged thing, yeah. and they're like, "No, don't give this out until the very end." Yeah, this okay. is if whoever buys the last ticket gets the DM. No, there's one. There's a DM there, you can there's a win DM in as the raffle, part of the raffle, and then, and then there's then another is... DM which is the DM that if you buy the last ticket. I guess that's just to encourage what you did. <laughs> Kinda. I I also don't think it's normal for you to just do them in the store. Yeah. Like, normally. They don't... I don't know. From what I've seen in the past for these raffles, you don't know how many tickets are left. Whereas they would, like, actively... When someone got a ticket, they were putting the tickets up on the wall to say what prizes were gone. Which was good. That was Ooh. good for Ben. That was good to Ben, but the sides of the boxes are still taped up. Gosh darn it. Um, product opening channel. This is a product <laughs> opening podcast today. Or you ASMR fan? This, this side too, Jake. This side too. I, I thought you did that side. I didn't. <laughs> I tried to. It didn't work. Jesus. Feel free to open one of these, Brag. I don't think I will ever truly accept odd eyes. I okay. like it. How big is this DM? Oh, it's actually a pretty big DM. <laughs> <laughs> His, his rod is at least it's lengthy. Length. Yeah, it's lengthy. Skinny. Yeah. He's got a lengthy skinny rod. Yeah. Oop, I've just put that bit of tape in there to try and like keep it aside, and I've just taped in the rod. So, yeah, these were all the prizes from the raffle. It was a wise purchase, in my opinion. It reminds me kind of of like those um, Lucky Dip things that they had at YCS's for a little while. Oh, it was yeah, like two yeah. years where they did a Lucky Dip. Yeah. And I got like my, not jumbo, but like giant-ish um, copy of um, Abyss Megalo. Yeah. Oh, oh. No, 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 not Abyss Megalo. What was the Xyz called? Abyss... Abyss Gaius? Abyss Gaius, that's it. There's the stands. I feel I have one too. And then yeah, we have those... the Dark Magician. We're kind of missing those raffles, aren't we? But we're not missing this one. Oh, oh my god! Actually, really good yeah. quality. Yeah, I've that, the yeah. box struck me as that because like it's fairly well detailed. Like it's better detailed physically than on the box. Like look at the face. Look at its face. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Because it's always a little bit trash when like you see them and they're just they're a little bit derby wrong. face. Yeah. Like, they've stuck an eye that's, like, maybe an inch... No, like, if it was to scale, like, an inch out of place, which you probably wouldn't notice. Mm. But then you look at it close, and it's just, like, looking kind of over there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Oh, sorry. To a camera. Yeah. Look at it. Look at that ball there. Now to delicately put this... I'll put this all the way later. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you got to preserve the packaging, you know? Um, so, yeah. Look, look how sassy. This yeah, was... without the rod, it is, like, a bit, <laughs> a bit rupaul isn't it? <laughs> you got the sass. Slay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would never do that. Okay. Let's... Put them away, shall we? Audio listeners for this this week's podcast are going to be yeah. Real you're missing mad. out on a lot. Oh. You're missing out on all of my raffle prizes. And that's why you should jump onto our YouTube, like and subscribe, and watch us. That's a good point. Just listen to the podcast and watch the podcast. Yeah, do both. Do them both. Which? How the fuck does this? Because surely this points down. Yeah, in the uh, box art, points down. I think maybe take the stand off and slide it in. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, slide it up. Yeah. No, no, but he's it. It's, it's like up the top here is where oh. it goes. Oh yeah, sure. Oh, oh that's problem happened. solved. Perfect. Look at that. Lovely. We're going to get better at this, I swear. Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully, we won't have too many more. Of no, these no, guys. we're going to. Next week, we're going to build Slifer. Yeah, we're going to go and buy that, like, Slifer. Oh, my God, <laughs> they had some ridiculous statues there. It was actually really There's cool. a place in Wollongong that has them. Got to go get them. Alrighty. So, 
getting into some news we start with master duels so uh as of uh tuesday last week they introduced a big update um so as discussed they've released goatee they've released uh, a bunch of stuff in the new pack like the uh notorious support um, salt synchron for some reason yeah salt synchron's just there it's so not out in the tcg it is out in the tcg no it's not the dragon thing the salt synchron which one's the salt synchron uh level two that special summons itself to the field do we have that these yep. feel weird hmm yeah they feel oh there's a fold out Oh, they're folders. Oh. Oh. You what? put files into them. Oh my oh. god, I can print out the news like a newscaster. Yeah. yeah. And now, the news. <laughs> you put deck lists in here. <laughs> deck list folder. That's such an odd flex, though, to actually have, like, oh, here's my I deck have, list. I have sir. a deck list protector. That's <laughs> two deck list protectors per pack. We should start laminating deck lists. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Because, yeah, fuck. If I would pre-write it and put it in my bag, Freaking like, animated. that is just, it's asking for... Oh, this guy. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's Coffee. Not, it's not out in TCG. It's a I level mean, 2 P7 yeah. and Life in Special. In fairness, in fairness, yeah. uh, the OCG also don't have Goaty yet. What? That's true. Good point, Jake. Well, yeah, was... both uh, Goaty and whatever the TCG oh, exclusive so before that B True Par... Um, we were not released we in the OCG at the time they were released in Master Duel. Ah, oh, yeah, because... And people are playing it, too. My, my mate. I haven't seen them. My mate, who is just getting into it, it's like, I'm getting destroyed by fish. I'm like, <laughs> what fucking... What, what fish? What fish? I'm like, oh, wait, space fish? He goes, yeah, space fish. <laughs> space fish. Um, um, damn space, space fish. fish. Motherfucking space fish. Like, um, I mean... Just shift. Uh, is shifter? I haven't seen a, I haven't seen a shifter in my gameplay. Is, it... is shifter a two? Shifter is a two. Yes. Yeah. But in saying that, Godi needs stuff in the grave and uh... then banish it. It's a bit annoying. Yeah. Um. But yeah, a bunch of other stuff. So like we mentioned last week, they've got the Blackwing uh, structure deck if you want to play bad version of Blackwings. <laughs> but the also, Ichiban Kuji. Should have read it. Anyway, um, in. Uh, anticipation for the WCQ event that's coming up uh, on Tuesday, uh, they've released a sort of uh, road to WCQ event line where every day you log in, you get some stuff. The very first day that you <laughs> log in, you get uh, the Assault Blackwing Towers Unaffected Dude yes. in Royal Rare. Yep. Yeah, you get a Royal Rare uh, Blackwing Full Armor Master. That's the one. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then some ones. more gems and then an icon and yeah basically the first day is like the biggest impact and then you get some gems yes. um, but it is over the course of the thing it is a thousand gems um they also from what i could see have um got a uh, proficiency check coming up for wcq it's so i don't know if it's going to scrub <laughs> <laughs> yeah well i don't know how it's going to function because there's very little detail about it but i don't know if it's like a a survey with like trues mm. and falses and it's going to tell you if you're going to do well because you know how cards work or you need some work because you're a dumbass or whether it's going to be like a little solo mode warning you may need to get good scrub <laughs> you may need to stop being stupid entrance exams for tournaments it is an interesting concept imagine that imagine <laughs> imagine too they stupid, just, go like, away. gave you ranks and then that's where you started in the tournament based on like how poorly you ranked you would just throw the exam. I was going to say, you just... <laughs> you <throw> players <laughs> would just throw the exam. I mean, it depends on how much reading is involved, because if there was a lot of reading, we'd all be down the bottom anyway. Yeah. That's a good point. A um, bunch of other stuff that's coming up as well. We've got a whole heap of protectors and things coming up, a few of them relating to WCQ placings. Um, we've got a new sort of, like, unknown player icon, which doesn't look like the uh, things were filled in properly, because you can oh. see the collar through his head. Um, what? That me. I'm invisible. Man. Oh, it's meant to be like that. <laughs> it looks weird. I don't like it. Oh, that's fine. Um, more importantly than that, though, we have some news of some more stuff that's going to be coming in soon. Um, we've got animation leaks that are coming. Wow. Well, yeah. um, so for cards that exist, we've got a couple like Z Lantis, um, the new uh, Ice Shade Synchro. Um, but there's some others that obviously hint on cards that are coming that we don't yet have in the game. Not um, you say that. But we've got uh, the Bistule Lebellion. He's getting an animation. 
Um, we've got the ninja stuff. We've got the Dark World uh, fusion. We've got the Trap Tricks uh, Link and the uh, Tribigate Link 5. Uh, we've got the Rank 9 for Generator, the one that like steals yeah. and does the ting. And we do have Castiria Rise Heart. So, I had this realisation exactly 47 seconds ago. <laughs> so I had a bunch of gems. And I spent all the spent gems them? on the new pack. So that I could build a pure sign of dragon deck to play in ranked. And how'd that go? Oh, it's gone atrociously bad. <laughs> I'm playing literally no hand traps. I am only playing archetypal cards. Mm. I think I'm in like gold two. Uh-huh. I started it uh, in the rose packs. <laughs> uh, but I spent all my gems and all my tickets. Because you say deck in that game costs a lot. And now Castier is coming. It's okay. I'll just scrap well, that and I'll scrap... In theory, it's going to be at least, um, what, a month and a half away? Something like that? Uh, it's okay. Tons of time. I'm Plenty not of time. play the game in the meantime. Well, well so you can wait for tier to get destroyed, because it probably will, and then you'll get an increased return rate on those ones, which will help you craft Castier. Oh, yeah. That's a good those, point. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's actually interesting. I do well, have a large brain. Cute would WCQ go into Castier's release then? No. No. No, because no, uh, WCQ starts Tuesday. And then it's... Was it a month? There's a stage one and stage two. Oh. How long I is that? I, I, I think it's like just under a week for stage uh, one, or maybe a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might I would have considered playing it if we weren't, if it wasn't a tier element format. It's a tier element <laughs> format? I'm out. See, I'm good. it's a tier element format. Just, yeah, I'm in. Yeah, just don't go in. <laughs> Um, we also have uh, some future mates uh, that have been uh, discovered Wait. through data leaks. The Your most players recent... always looking for future mates. <laughs> Didn't know we're not. Um, the first one that seems we're getting is Sprite Blue. It's a cool little animation, little thunder dude in his little uh, little jacket, and some lightning comes down when he does the thing. Oh. Looks nice. Okay. Looks quite respectable. Um, and then we haven't got any artwork for them yet, but we also have the White Aura Dolphin, which is super old school and not the one that you played, um, <laughs> and uh, Unchained Abomination, oh, the link God. for Pop of the Things. On the Dolphin front, Jake, they have... I thought I heard a small child screaming outside. Yeah, they've been going nuts all night. Um, it's been killing me. <laughs> so, where was I? Dolphin. Yes. They have <laughs> at least made a case of... Doing mates for decks that are just fucking the shit card you'd never use. Like example, laundry dragon mate. I knew you were gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> There's other ones that are also just like shit cards, like Ash Blossom. Yeah. Yeah, no one's running Ash There's, Blossom ever. Like, when, I'm just never gonna go off Ash Blossom. There's, There's nothing so you could tempt many me. synchrons and fucking tuners, Jake. I can't have room for Ash Blossom. But Ash Blossom is a tuner. No, but it's it's no. I can't, but you say you didn't play it. Yeah, I can't summon it <laughs> off my junk speeder, therefore don't care. Can you not? Oh yeah, true. No, it has to summon synchron tuners with different names. Gross. <laughs> it's fine. It's full combo by itself. But yeah, um, so yeah, some new mates coming. Uh, it could be a long ass time before we see the other two because it's not even so much as an animation for them yet or there might be prizes for WC Cube I don't know mm. um, but more interestingly what a weird wouldn't you think that would give us something different if it was prize for WC Cube imagine that guy and he's a dolphin get lost they'll give you a playmat in game <laughs> imagine that's the that's the equivalent of getting a vanilla prize card for topping YCS is you get a fucking dolphin mate no no the equivalent <laughs> is dolphin. They don't give you a full size playmat, they give you a three quarter size entry playmat. A master door. Yes. So it's like only covers three quarters of your board. Actually it would be cool if like the mate stand was like like WCQ, blah 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 blah. That would be cool. That would be cool. And then you can have whatever mate you want. Whatever um, playmat you want. Yeah, true. Where why don't they do like a, a spinning hologram stage that says into the rains? Like it doesn't that say that's oddly yeah. specific. <laughs> Well, I've been watching friends. Yeah, give us... Okay, you're, like, maybe 10% of the Yu-Gi-Oh! population that is currently watching Vrains. Yeah. No, the rest of us are watching 5Ds, how dare you? 5Ds gang. We're Brains switching between. Yeah, it's... 
confusing. It, it, it's, no, getting, it's, it's getting weird. <laughs> it's because if Bragg's in the lounge room when we start watching and we watch 5Ds, if he's not, I watch Reigns. Oh, so just you're watching Brains. Well, I don't want to watch 5Ds without Bragg. Yeah. Fair enough. Sure. Are exactly. you enjoying Brains? It's decent. Yeah. I haven't minded I, it. I, I like Brains. I'm appreciating now that I've gotten to where they do proper five zone duels. Yeah, the three zone ones are annoying because, like, yes. his best monster for a while is Deco Talker. So it's like, oh, awesome. He gets one monster pointing awesome. to it. There's definitely a fucking point where the guy summons Topological Bomber Dragon and the guy's like, ha, huh, I've summoned to your zone. What are you going to do? And he was like, blow it up. No, that's the thing. He's like, curse you. Uh, <laughs> my monster's not going to activate its effect that now mandatory pops the board. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, uh, it wasn't negated, was it, either? It's not negated. But then, like, that happens, so then the next turn he makes Zero Boros. Oh, uh, yeah. And it's yeah, like... So it's... You could have just blown everything up last turn. Instead, you're waiting to yeah. this turn but to you make Zero Boros. But you got to sell Zero Boros. Yeah. Um, in saying that, though, they did have a history when they were printing Vrain's cards to make them actually better than they were in the anime. Yeah. Like, yeah. a lot better. I mean, yeah, maybe its effect isn't that good in the anime, I don't know. No, he activates it later. He activates it in a previous It's, episode, it's in the he? previous duel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, just wins because his bomber dragon just keeps triggering. And then in this duel, he's like, ah, no. You used he, my zone to link summon. Did he keep his, um, did he keep his window on board? Yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> probably. <laughs> um, lastly, on Master Duel, we have the announcement of a new rank. Yeah. What? Yes. Uh, they have. Why? They have found that there's going to be a master tier. Um, is it above diamond? Uh, so the only description what? we have of this, is? the only description that we have, is that uh, duelists who have honed masterful skills and intuition through countless battle heights are presented with this honor. So I'm assuming it's not a rank rank. It's like maybe over the course of a year, if you win X amount of duels, that you'll get this rank. So it oh, comes with throwing that in the toilet. this icon, uh, which is like a big gold lion head with a crown. Um, and then further down, you see that it has its own little... Um, I'm in prestige one. <laughs> you prestiged? Which you get it by um, signing the survey. That's... Oh yeah, there is also a survey. Yeah. And I ask them why I get shit hands every time I try to rank up. Um, if you give good It's feedback. all about challenging yourself, Jake. <laughs> it's hard to challenge myself when it's just a handful of nonsense. It's like I'm playing fucking branded on Master. Um, but anyway, yeah, they also have this profile icon, which matches the Master tier thing. I'd rather have Diamond than the Master Diamond. You could do that, or you could move on. Ah. Speaking of moving on, uh, we have some more news. Uh, so, firstly, we have an update to the current tournament policy. Oh yeah, uh, yeah which came into update. effect as of today, or as of yesterday when it was announced, I should say. Um, so one of the bigger things is that 45-minute uh, rounds are now in place across the board. So no matter what uh, level of event you're playing, you have 45 minutes. I really appreciated today at the regional that everything just kind of run really fucking smoothly. Yes. And that extra five minutes got rid of a lot of fuckery, weirdly. Oh, yes. sweet. Yeah. You got rid of a lot of people that are actively fighting at time. Hmm. Like, not dueling, and I'm just saying fighting. I mean, actually fighting. Yeah. <laughs> actually, that guy wasn't there. That made me very happy. You know the guy. I know the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He wasn't there. Yes, that made me very happy. Um, so, um, what, I'm just trying to work out some other changes. Um, this is foil, and that's not foil. Uh, they changed uh, TC Baxies. Um... Um, so if you have an, if you target something illegally, the card no longer just fizzles. The card goes back to your hand, and you get a warning. Yeah, you get a warning. This was a discussion was we had in chat earlier this morning that if you acti accidentally activate something in the imperm column, just choose an illegal target because the card then returns to your hand. You get a P minor. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. So Why? It's a fucking stupid change. No way. Yeah. No, no, because uh, no, because they. Imagine a scenario that you would need those cards to go to the graveyard for some dumb combo that's irrelevant. Yeah. Like, you shouldn't be able to, like, no. You're just negating the effects in that column. I should still, that should now be an avenue for me to negate through. Like, 
and or Most if I'm or if, or if I'm a, or I'm or if I'm a dumbass. So it's say I have a monster in my graveyard that cannot be special summoned back. Hmm. I activate monster reborn in the imperm column. I yep. have a legal target. Yeah. But I go fuck. I've activated this in the imperm column. I target the top monster that cannot be summoned back. Does there have to be another target that's not gotcha? Legal? Okay. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently now, if you've targeted something illegally, uh, you now just get a minor and you take the playback. But I'm saying, does there have to be that monster that you can't be like? The, the whole like, no, you've activated the card. You have to choose a legal target. Yeah. That is no longer a thing. Apparently. Okay. Apparently. I very much think that's a stupid rule change if that is the case, but that's what I've had passed to me. Mm. So. Uh, another big change is in terms of decklist submissions and uh, retractions or ad additions. Ad additions? Yeah, that, I think that's the word. Multiplications. Uh, so, um, they now are not allowing changes to a decklist art of submission, except in the case of a ban list change. <laughs> <laughs> this is covering your asses if they drop a ban list on a Friday night. Effective yes. immediately. Um, so it only counts for uh, deck lists that are submitted online because yeah. uh, a lot of the European and American events are using um, Neuron to be able to submit the deck lists online prior we to the event. We were supposed to be able to do that for WCQ last year and they couldn't get it working, so they gave up. No, they just didn't want to do it for us, Ben. We'll see if they do it this year. Yes, we will. Um, so uh, there's apparently a clarification for public knowledge. Um, public knowledge can't text this public knowledge uh, you can ask for information about any card uh, this is not the case uh, anymore apparently go again sorry so public knowledge has some specific limitations some duelists and judges have taken card text is public knowledge to mean you can ask for information on absolutely any card uh, this is not the case and this has been clarified so assuming it's like um I'm confused by that still, because they've given you they've given you access to literally every card in Neuron. Yeah, and maybe it's a case of like if you're adding a card to hand and that it's not activating, a player can't go. Oh, can I read that card? That does not make sense. Still, yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Doors must answer the following questions involving the following topics. Um, the number of cards in Duel's hand, the number of cards in Duel's deck, uh, the number and names of a cards in Duel's graveyards and faced up banished cards, both the Duel's current life points, any notes taken by other Duel's during a Duel, uh, which cards were searched, set, summoned, destroyed, banished, activated, or targeted by an effect during the current turn. So I'm assuming, because this, this is the portion that's highlighted, so I'm assuming it's the one that they're talking about. So maybe it's a case of, like, you've searched something in the prior turn, and then a player goes, like, oh, standby phase, main phase. Oh, um, what do you add off of this? Oh, that's That's been an implied case for a while now. They must have put it in writing. But yes. if you search for something last turn, you can't then say, last turn you added this. Oh. Yep. That is private knowledge now. It's always been a case of you can just say... That is no longer public knowledge. But now they must have actually physically put in the fucking rules to say no. Yeah, so once a turn passes, you no longer have to clarify to your opponent, oh, do I know any cards in hand? You can Apparently you do not. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, those are probably the main ones. There's a bunch of other ones that I can't be bothered reading. Yeah. Uh, so, moving on to some product news. We have some anime nonsense for all you anime fans out there. Woo! Uh, so we'll, we'll start anime. with the worst ones. Uh, so we've got a retrain of the uh, Phoenix Phoenix Blade, Divine Sword Phoenix Blade. Oh, is that yeah, the one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, doesn't really do yeah, a great deal better than the original like the, one. Yeah, um, like it can bring itself back, but that's once per turn, which is not what the original one does. No, I mean Hario TK. Let's do it. Did they ban that card? No, they banned it in the OCG though. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Do you know what they didn't ban the OCG? Smoke Grenade. <laughs> Do you know what they love using when they summon Braver Dragon? Smoke Grenade. Smoke Grenade, because it pops itself as part of the activation. It is a racist dragon. Uh, speaking of anime nonsense, uh, we have a card for the full armoured archetype, if you wonder where what that is. It's the fishy things. 
Um, so, uh, target a... <laughs> so I can't use this to my full armor master? No, not at all. Oh, it's unaffected mm. anyway. Uh, target one face the monster you control, monster. and one Xyz monster in your graveyard. Equip the target to the from the graveyard to the target monster on the field. Is equip spell with these effects. Uh, equip monsters become equipped. Monsters attack becomes that card's. Equip monsters attribute is treated as this card. If equip monster attacks at the end of the damage step, send this card to the graveyard. The monster that was equipped can make a second attack. Uh, this okay. is the only person that cares about this archetype. No. Then Hari goes bang, and then goes bang. He's not. He's no. He's from Xyz anime. Yeah, but he's not Shark. Yeah, but he has the verse Shark, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Comment down below whether or not this guy versus Shark. <laughs> I think he does. Oh, uh, we have... Use... Just use the field spell from the Kanko. Yes. Anyway, uh, we have an Arcana Force monster. It's been a hell of a oh, long yeah. time. <laughs> um, the wall? At it. But he used this uh, This show, one's called The Fiend. I don't know. Probably. I think most of these have appeared in the show at some point. Yeah. Or some iteration of them I anyway. Like the Arcana Force episodes. Uh, so, in effect, this one just lets you uh, discard it to search the field spell that lets you cheat all their effects to what you want them to be. That's pretty um, good. And then it's on... One of them's a gem skip. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, so, it's on field effect if you actually do end up summoning it. Um, you either... On heads, um, you get to target a monster on the field, destroy it, inflict damage uh, if you get heads. And if tails, when it declares an attack, or when an attack is uh, uh, basically on attack deck, destroy all monsters on the field. Ah, not not all other monsters either. All of them. Destroy <laughs> Isil. Everything. Uh, and then we have a Millennium or an Illusion card. The first of the Illusion archetype. Ooh. Uh, so, if you control an Illusion or a Spellcaster monster, you can activate one of three effects. Uh, you either make your Illusion or Spellcaster monsters uh, indestructible for the turn. Um, if it's during your opponent's turn, you can target a face of monster they control and take control of it till the end phase. Yep. Uh, and if it's in attack de declaration, target a face of monster they control and the attack is redirected to the other monster. Okay. Yeah. Not amazing, not terrible. Eh. The best of all the anime stuff that we've seen, though, is the Earthbound support that's coming out. Yes. Uh, so, in effect, they are a synchro and uh, fusion archetype. Um, no Xyz. Yeah, no Xyz. No. Uh, all of their stuff's kind of good, like it drops um, attacks or um, <laughs> sort of lets you destroy stuff. Really nothing like the current run of Earthbound Immortals. They really have nothing to do with each other. Yeah, it's because these ones can be summoned. Yeah, these ones are good. Um, yeah. The highlight of these, however, is the, the spell that they got. The cards themselves aren't that good. The spell is good. The spell is really good. Uh, so, um, only activate one per turn. You cannot special summon for the extra deck except fusion and synchro monsters. Uh, send two face face-up monsters you control to the graveyard, one tuner, one non-tuner. Special summon a fusion monster and a synchro monster from your extra deck that can be fusion and synchro summoned using only those sent monsters as material. So, what Jake's telling you is that he can use it in Branded mm -hmm. to summon the new Bestial and a Branded one. I can mm -hmm. summon uh, Lulu Willilith and uh, Grand Guignol with the same materials. Yes. Whoop, Except whoop, then I'll be whoop. locked out of Brand of Fusion. Uh, Unless I'm in Ah, it's okay. It's, it's just, just Branded Red. It's just cool. Yeah, it's, it's just... just really cool. Um, the fact that it sends them to Graveyard as cost as well is actually kind of bonkers. Because yeah. you could just sit there with a Gamma and when someone goes to, like, do something. I don't know what they would do. I don't know, maybe they've got Negate. Hmm. I don't know. But still, better than... This is different and good. I like it. I'm a big fan. So I'm looking forward to the nonsense that people build around this. Um, when I announced it, uh, Loz has already been at it, uh, working out ways that he can summon Dragoon and a Synchro. Dragoon Baron combo. <laughs> you look upset. No, no, no. So <laughs> does Dragoon need Red Eyes? Yes. A Red Eyes or a Dragon Effect monster. So... You could make it with a dragon tuna. Yeah. yeah. And this the is, yeah. Yes, this is what I posted in the chat when this was announced. Yes. And then he went and um, <laughs> posted that content. Yes. Sneak a DM and uh, 
Stardust. No. Bigger plans. This man would be ashamed of this man. Uh, <laughs> do it for him. Oh wow, he doesn't have the um the marker. Oh yeah, true. Wait, is he gonna keep that forever? I wonder. I don't because I never got to watch. I never watched the the subbed bit at the end because they don't they didn't dub all of it, so I haven't seen the actual finale. Not to draw in a space. Not like GX where I watched that. Yeah, uh, so that is pretty much uh, the news for this week. Uh, not a great deal that of information, but news. there's. There's big, some cool big stuff. Big news week. I liked, I liked the news that was there. There just wasn't a lot of it. Uh, so we move on to our Discord, if you weren't... What? Before we begin the questions, they changed sleeve policy as well. You could have triple sleeve. What? I don't know. That no, no, it's, said, no. I'm pretty sure what I do with standard size sleeve, I'm not allowed to have. It's meant to be... I'm pretty sure they've changed it to tight fit. Ah, uh, so inners with a standard? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Oh, so you can't have the outer sleeves anymore. Yeah. That's dumb. It says no sleeves bigger than the card, which I'm like, well, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> All sleeves are bigger than the card. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, the card no fit. is a good point. All sleeves are bigger than the card. Yeah. Um, and then the other one is you can't ask your opponent con to concede. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I really need this. I've um, got a wife and kids to feed. <laughs> this cut. <is good>. Which <laughs> DQs, Weevil, Rex, Pegasus, my like three times. You should give up. Does it, yeah. Does it count? <laughs> does it count if you threaten suicide? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's reverse conceding. P minor. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, moving on to our Discord, if you weren't aware, link will be in the description below for our Discord. Feel free to jump in, say hey. hi, and what? I found the G spot. It's right there. It says G base. It's a lot harder than the G spots <laughs> I've encountered in the past. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. So, first question comes to us from Six Sight Six. Uh, when sleeving a new deck. Uh, do you place any significance on the colour of sleeves you choose? Or is it just the obvious choice in your mind for that particular deck? Okay, uh, well, so no, no, give let's, examples. let's answer this for each other. Bragg, what do you think I do? Oh, you've, you're on a new sleeve kick now. There's a colour you like, yeah? Nah, I'm just, oh. just, just fucking going with the wind at the moment. Oh, no. I like to put red on firefighters. That's like, oh, that's yeah, like yeah, the yeah. one deck where I'm like this, this. Well, I had gold for Eldritch. Jake, what do you, what do you think about Bragg's? Uh, I think he likes gold for Eldritch. Yep. Um, other than that, I think you're pretty straightforward. It's just like black, maybe the occasional red. I've seen him with green once or twice. My main, like, well, what this sleeve news, that means my my whole sleeve plan's come to an end with the Yu-Gi-Oh! back sleeves. Yeah, that because the, their fucking art sleeves are shit. Yeah, with the matte over, like, standard that we've been using this whole time suck. ever since the, the, change, sleeve them. the change policies well, I'm well like, yeah oh, this is the issue right? this also stops those... those perimeter sleeves yeah yeah well this is what i mean right because the only incentive you really had to play the art sleeves is if you could play something over the top of them to protect them so they wouldn't peel off the top but yeah. now if you can only play the inners there's the art sleeves get no... damaged and they count as mark cards yeah it's actually yeah completely it's pointless um jake's mentality is orange 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 is my favourite colour, hmm. and 80% of my decks will have orange on them. On occasion, I do go for blue. I also like blue. Just a little bit of blue. Particularly if it's, just a little bit of blue. Particularly if it's a Link deck, I like blue. Uh, just goes thematically. Um, for a little while with Tier Elements, I was trying the Lagoon uh, colour for Dragon Shields. Yes. Um, really nice. A little bit more expensive than the standard sleeve, but it was worth it. Um, they thing. just don't stock them anywhere anymore. Yeah, true. But it seems as though those colour designs rotate. Okay. Like the with the colour back and the black inside? Yeah. Yeah, they they seemingly rotate. So the other day they have like just three new colours I'd never seen before. But the old colours were gone. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. So we like clarify that, that jewelers cannot use sleeves that are too big for their cards. This causes mark cards. You can't uh, we clarify that jewelers can't use top loaders or hard cases, we already knew that. Uh tinted. <laughs> Who was uh, going in there with a deck slab? We clarify <laughs> that either sleeve 
used in double sleeving can be clear on both sides. It does not matter if the inner or the outer sleeve. No, okay, in that case, I think it's still fine. Yeah, the, I'm using you can't mask. use sleeves as big as it marks your cards. Must be that you can't just use a standard size sleeve with a fucking yeah. Yu Gi Oh size card because the card can move. Yeah, again, that should be common sense. That should be common sense, but tell that new kid at locals. <laughs> yeah, cool. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not taking a stab at any new kid at our locals. That's just the theme that the yes, new person is. shows up to locals and they all show up with fucking magic size sleeves on the Yu Gi Oh thing because they just bought the first pack of sleeves they bought, put their cards in, like. This is fine. Yeah, because and then they show up and like, your sleeves fit a lot better than mine. <laughs> yes, because yeah. I bought the correct size sleeves. Um. Oh. Also, mark cards. If you can't replace the mark card, you get kicked from the event. Yes, that's normal. Um, I marked sleeve or a marked card. Marked card. So, hmm. so that would say if it's in a side deck or an extra deck. Maybe someone okay. started going, oh, it's marked, I'll take it out, but leave me in, like, I won't play with this card. Yeah, a lot of people would do that, where they'd, yeah. like, they'd just take a game one loss every time and side deck it out. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, that just stops that. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, that's our sleeve, our sleeve stuff. I'm, I'm, I was worried for a second. No, I I'm, think you're I'm, I'm, I bought into that. <laughs> I've been buying so many Matt Clear sleeves. I need to buy some more. Like, it's fucking stupid that they would ever consider changing that because of how bad those art sleeves can be. Yeah. But they could this... just make a decent quality art sleeve as well. That's the other thing. Yeah. Anywho, next question. Uh, from uh, 6 art 6 again. Uh, what possible reason do they need to errata the frog cards uh, so that they were not able to interact with Slime Toad? Um, it was... What was it? Frog the Gen. Frog the Gen was the original one, right? It's just... Yes. Like, was... They just had, like, same with Harpy's Brother. They had a, just oh, a different was slime... epic. No, was, the... was it Slime Toad the first time? It was Frog the Gen that changed to Slime Toad. Oh, yeah, Frog. Yeah. Oh, yep. I think it was because you could, like... There was an interaction where, because it was a frog, you could run and toad in it. But... Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you definitely didn't want it to be... Like, it would have been bad for the game. Yeah, and there was a way... Because there was so much generic normal support that that created a problem. Yeah. Where, um, like, it would turn your Rotom Toad on from the start. But even before all that stuff, they were putting it on cards. And it's just... They just didn't want to even affect the balancing because, yeah, somewhat later, they did get around to it and it would have been a problem. So that's probably why. Um, Sky... I mean, Harpy's Brother and the early fairy... Like, the early fairy. Early Harpy stuff. Could have been pretty strong. Like it was going, just being fucking beat stick. Yeah, being 500 more Completely. and still fulfilling the requirement of having Harpy. Mm. Like, uh. So, yeah. It it does seem silly to put in every single card text back then. But then they just changed the name now and ruin everything. Yeah. Just print it properly. Man, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's way too late for that, Bragg. They can't even print more than that's correct. I just keep calling it fucking from the jam. It's fine. Do you think they've printed anything incorrectly at the moment? Yes. I mean, uh, well, tactics talent, like, those were getting... Those are weird translations. Okay. Triple tactics. I mean, we've got a naming convention for it now, but I wonder if the puns get weirder. I does it take it out? It's been a while since we've gotten a totally awesome. Yeah. Yeah. What else? Miss Totally know. Awesome. R.I.P. <laughs> uh, and last question this week comes to us from Jesse. Uh, does reboot to three fix this format? No. No. Why would that fix the format, Jesse? Who no, don't you? get me wrong. <laughs> I would be <laughs> so happy for there to be three red reboot again. Seb crying in the corner. What's he crying for? Seb's gonna play you here to be upset by this. Yeah, now's your time to strike. Yeah. There were so many labyrinth <laughs> players today at the regionals. So Jake many. Play, Jake pairs one. He's like this. So many. There were heaps. I mean, there was real. a Labyrinth player next to me. Leo was versing one when in his game. I didn't what? bother looking Those at creeps any over there, that were Labyrinth players. <laughs> then why are you giving me oh, shit man. for noticing what's going on around me? Because every Fucking single person... Tunnel vision, bitch. Everyone kept coming up to me and being like, there's so many of this deck. And I was like, oh, really? And then someone else told me there's so many of a different deck. I'm like, okay. This is now the third different deck that someone said today. There was a lot of this deck. What constitutes a lot? in these people's minds. Six, ten. I would say I a lot is two. ten to fifteen. I think versing 
two in a row. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah. missing two in a row, but... Like, I saw a lot of cash. But I actually did see a lot of cash. And that's my story. Sell a lot of cash with this boy. He can make it. Let him strike a pose. <laughs> Look at him. Not dark magician. Uh, but yes, I would like Red Reboot to three, because traps suck. Um, yeah, that does conclude us for this week. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. Um, so I'm going to go on a bit of a rant here. Uh, feel free to uh, come and follow us on TikTok. Um, <laughs> if you're watching yes! us on YouTube, TikTok like and subscribe. Plug. If you are listening to us, please favorite us on your streaming service. Oh, ask uh, questions on Spotify. Can you if, do that? Yeah, um, just generic stuff. If if you can be bothered, yeah, there's a new thing. We get an email through. I'll check it every couple of days. I promise this time. I swear. <laughs> Poor um, oh, I can't remember his name. The dude from America that you're friends with on Pogo. He, he, you read a re- email from him like two months after. Yeah, his... <laughs> Paul Drew. He puts up with a lot of oh, shit from me. D. I've got a... if he still watches. Hi, Drew D. How you doing? Yeah, I'll be fine. Uh, yes, but uh, also jump into our Discord, ask us some questions for next week, and we'll see you when the ban list drops because the AR predicted a question mark. It's dropping on the 17th. Three days. Did I misread the dimension shifter thing in the total pass? I'm sure it's just a screenshot. Yeah, because... I don't think it's in there. I don't know if we're still on the podcast. No, because it's more of... Yeah, you can cut it.